Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. The latest updates on the Iraqi Dinar have sent triples of excitement through the community, and today's news brings a mix of thrilling and crucial developments. Let's dive right in. First things first, here's an important tip for all dinar holders, is it safe to give someone at the bank your money before it's verified? Absolutely not. Always keep an eye on your dinar. If a bank tells you they need to send your currency to an upper echelon bank for exchange, do a 180 and run like the road runner. Never hand over your dinar to anyone instead. Ask for the address of the bank and take the currency there yourself. This simple precaution can protect your investment at all costs. The clock is ticking, folks. It seems that celebrations have already kicked off early on Saturday evening. The Gazette updates around 4 a.m. Eastern Time will be telling. There's a new plan by Iraqi Airways to return the green bird to the skies of Europe, which is incredibly exciting. As an Iraqi dinar holder myself, owning 5 million dinars, I can only imagine the euphoria of waking up to the news that the new exchange rate is 3 US dollars for one Iraqi dinar, with the zeros still intact. Such a dramatic shift would be life changing, and I would be jumping up and down with joy. I want all of you to get ready because Iraq is gearing up for a massive celebration this Sunday, June 30th. The long-anticipated revaluation, RV, is nearly here, and it's going to be an emotional moment for all of us. Prime Minister Sudani has masterfully maneuvered everyone into checkmate. By showing Kurdistan and Bartsani the new exchange rates, he has effectively put them in checkmate. He has also done the same with contractors by rewriting contracts with the new exchange rate. This strategic foresight is evident even in the dealings with the United States, the World Trade Organization, WTO, and all parties involved in the monetary reform. The meticulous planning has left the whole world paying close attention to Iraq. Look at the excitement and buzz surrounding Iraq. Everyone is bowing to Iraq because of its soil, rich in resources and potential. The world knows Iraq holds significant power and influence. As for the new rate in the Gazette, while I'm not expecting it until Wednesday, there is widespread speculation. I've heard that Prime Minister Sudani has signed off on the budget, and it's supposed to be headed to the Gazette. There was some hope it would be printed this morning, but we'll have to wait and see. Everyone, this Sunday is going to be historic. Iraq is about to embark on a new chapter, and we are all part of this incredible journey. The anticipation is palpable, and the atmosphere is charged with hope and excitement. The meticulous groundwork laid by Sudania and his team promises not just a financial windfall but a transformation that could position Iraq as a formidable economic player on the global stage. The journey to this point has been long and fraught with challenges, but the light at the end of the tunnel is now in sight. Let's stay vigilant and informed, as these next few days could very well redefine our future. 